Hi friends. Today let us have tangent and secant properties of circles. Yesterday I already I have explained you what is a tangent and what is a secant. The line which touches a circle at a point is the tangent of the circle and the line which intersects the circle at two points is the secant of a circle. And today, let us learn their properties. That is the properties of tangents and secants. Your first property is the tangent at any point on a circle. The tangent at any point on a circle. And the radius through the point of contact. This is the point of contact. Radius of the circle is O. Let P is the point of contact of the tangent to the circle. The, so the tangent at point P of the circle and the radius through this point of contact, they are perpendicular to each other. That is the property. How can we say that? Let us take any other point Q on this line. Let us join OQ. Let this OQ intersect this circle at R. OP and OR are the radii of the circle. So this OR and OQ, OR is a part of OQ. So OR is less than OQ. And also, OR is equal to OP. That implies OP is smaller than OQ. So if you take any other point on the line also, let me take a point R. R already we have taken. Let us take a point S on this line. And if we join OS, this OS also greater than the radius. So any other point if you take on the line, the length from O to that point is always greater than this OP which is the radius of the circle. And also you have learned in your class 9 of all the line segments that are drawn from a point to a line the perpendicular is the shortest. You have already learned the theorem in your class 9. So if you draw any number of lines from a point to the line, perpendicular is the shortest. And here also we came to know that how many points you take on the line also, the distance from O to that point is always greater than the distance from O to P. That is the radius drawn from the center to the point of contact of the tangent. So, the tangent at any point of a circle and the radius through that point of contact are perpendicular to each other. So, OP is perpendicular to SQ or OP is perpendicular to the tangent drawn at the point of contact. Next, the second property is just to converse to this. Here you have learned that the, the tangent and the radius at the point of contact are perpendicular to each other. Now, just converse means what? In a reverse way. That is A line drawn through the end of radius and is perpendicular to it. is the tangent of the circle 
that means what is given is the radius of a circle and the line drawn at the end of the radius they are perpendicular to each other let it point p a b if it is so ab is a tangent of the circle you have to prove to prove that ab is a tangent of the circle same way you see any point you take on this line op this is perpendicular already given and already in the previous theorem you have learned that the perpendicular is the shortest the radius uh, drawn through the point of contact is shortest and it is perpendicular already you have learned so if you take q the point on this line any point on this line and r is the point of intersection of the line at the circle oq is greater than or that means p is the point of contact of op and ab there is no other point take any other point let me take s o s you see s lies outside you take t o t t lies outside the circle the point lies outside the circle means that the distance from o to that point is always greater than the radius so the radius is the shortest that means all these points a s t q b all are outside the circle there is only one point in contact with this line and you know that the line which touches the circle at a point is a tangent so ab touches the circle fp therefore ab is the tangent of the circle ab is the tangent of the circle just to converse in the previous theorem uh, property you have learned that the radius and the tangent at the point of contact are perpendicular to each other just converse this to that is a line drawn through the end of radius and is perpendicular to it is the tangent of the circle now let me explain you how many tangents can be drawn through a point to a circle there are three cases number of tangents there are three cases that is let me draw a circle suppose point p is inside the circle how many tangents can be drawn to this circle passing through this point p any line you draw through p the lines intersects the circles at the two points but we know that the line which touches the circle at a point is a tangent so if the point is inside a circle no tangents can be drawn to the circle okay now your second situation is if the point lies on the circle this is first case second case if a point is on the circle how many lines can be drawn only one line can be drawn passing through the point of a passing through a point on the circle so if the point lies any other only one at a point only one tangent can be drawn and that already you know that that is perpendicular to the radius at the point of contact so if the line lies line touches a point at a point only one tangent can be drawn your third case is if the point is outside the circle if p is outside the circle 
that is the external point then how many tangents can be drawn passing through this P to this circle from P only two tangents can be drawn passing through P to the circle let me name it as PA and PB so if a point is outside the circle two tangents can be drawn if a point is on the circle one tangent can be drawn if a point is inside the circle no tangents can be drawn then what is the length of a tangent you see children from P to here from P to here I have drawn this is a tangent they said that means as it is a line we can it is a ray we can produce it then what is the length of the tangent length of the tangent e means the distance from this point to the point of contact distance of a point to the point of contact distance of the point is from here point P to the point of contact is B either PB same way PA that is said to be the length of the tangent understood children children please like share and also subscribe the channel thank you